Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your very first time here. For today's video, it is going to be an extreme three hour cleaning marathon. We are tackling my entire house from top to bottom. We are going through and getting every single room cleaned up and I am so excited to bring you all along with me. If you are new here, my name is Aaliyah. I am a wife and a mom of three young kids. I have a four year old son and I have two daughters aged three and almost nine months old. So I am currently in the very thick of motherhood. Things are crazy and chaotic around here, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And that is the biggest reason I started my channel. I wanted to create a space where everyone would feel welcome and I could share the real life messes and moments that come along with motherhood and maintaining your home. I try and keep it as real and relatable on my channel as possible. And I strive for my videos to be motivational and inspiring. So I really hope you find that all here. For this video, I did compile some of my best and most recent cleaning videos, so it gives you a chance to catch up if you missed any of my postings, and also gives you three hours of non-stop motivation. You do not have to worry about flipping through, trying to find something else to watch, or something else to listen to, because this does give you three hours of constant motivation. This video does have deep cleaning, decluttering, organizing and just the everyday tidying so there is definitely something for everyone in this one and i really hope you all enjoy it Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video. We are jumping right into the mess today and getting started in the laundry room. As you can see, it is an absolute disaster in here. If you saw last week's video, I mentioned that Justin and I have started building our built-in hall tree that you can see right behind me here. We are almost finished. We only need one more coat of paint and then adding the hooks and decor and we are done. But we did all get sick last week and that put a little bit of a stall in things. I was just going to wait to clean in here until we were finished completely with the hall tree but it is taking a little longer than I anticipated and I need my laundry room back I am so over the mess everything is covered in sawdust there are tools and supplies everywhere and I am just over it so I'm so excited to get this finally done today after this we are going to be moving on into the kitchen this video is three full days of cleaning so there is tons of cleaning motivation coming your way and I really Hope you all enjoy it. About what is wrong and what is right. They keep moving in different rhythms. Still, I know what you feel. They keep moving in different rhythms. Most of the stuff in here is stuff that Justin and I were using to build and paint. I'm only leaving the painting supplies in the laundry room for easy access when we do do the second coat in there, but everything else is getting put back in the garage or where it belongs in the basement. As I was wiping down the washing machine, I decided to just open this tray to see if there was anything in here that needed to be cleaned. And there was definitely a buildup of cleaner and dust and gunk. So I'm just giving that a quick wipe down. We aren't going to be deep cleaning in the laundry room today. That is something I am saving for when we do have the hall tree completed. I kind of am planning to do a little bit of a laundry room makeover. I have some decor I wanna hang up. I'm going to be pulling the machines out and of course showing you guys all of the progress and what we have going on for the hall tree so that will probably be coming up in the next couple of weeks So 
So the laundry room ended up being the only room I got completed on day number one of cleaning. It was not as productive as I was hoping it would be, but we are going to be moving on to day number two. And the first thing we are going to be doing is throwing in a load of laundry. I am going to be washing the bedding set that I bought for Quinn. As you guys know, the girls will be sharing a bedroom. So I wanted them to have matching bedding and I found this one from Pottery Barn Kids and I absolutely love Loved it so I bought it for Rowan and thought the best way to go about it would just be to buy the second set for Quinn because I know in a year and a half when she needs it I would go to look for it and they would no longer sell it and I wouldn't find it and I would just be so sad so I decided I would just get the two at the same time and time goes so fast it'll feel like tomorrow when I am using it and in the meantime Rowan can just use it as a backup set for her bed. My kitchen was a mess from the night before and I don't usually like to leave it messy overnight. I always try and clean my kitchen before I go to bed just because I like to wake up to a nice and clean kitchen. I just feel like it starts your day off right, but I knew I was going to be filming and getting it tackled this morning. So that's what we're going to be doing. My island especially was quite messy because I was baking banana bread last night and I have one of the best recipes for banana bread. It is so good and I will be sharing it on screen in a minute here so when it pops up feel free to pause the video and take a screenshot of it if you are wanting to try it my entire family loves it and it really is just so good I love to burn my candles and use my Scentsy wax melts, but since everybody in my house seems to continuously be getting sick, I decided I should probably bring out my diffuser and diffuse some thieves and lemon, hopefully to kill some of the germs in the air because I feel like the sickness keeps cycling and it is constant right now. Bringing out my diffuser also reminded me that I have not used my Thieves cleaner in such a long time, probably since the summer, so I just grabbed my glass bottle and I filled it with filtered water and then I went ahead and added a capful of the Thieves concentrate and a couple drops of the Tangerine essential oil just to make it smell nice and I'm just going to go through and wipe everything down with this. I thought this was the sweetest thing. Rowan wanted to show everybody the pictures that she has been working on. So the purple one, she obviously colored with some markers. And then the little unicorn one is something that is called sticker by number, which I had never heard of this, but I saw them on Amazon and they're the coolest thing because it is like paint by number, of course, but you are not using paint, you're using stickers. So there is no mess and it's an activity they can do themselves or in the vehicle or wherever. And I just really like the idea idea. I 
I've recently been getting a ton of new friends here on YouTube, so if you are new here, I just wanted to say hello and welcome. I am so happy to have you here. My name is Aaliyah, and I am a wife and a mom of three little ones. My son, Grayson, is four, my daughter, Rowan, is three, and my other daughter, Quinn, is eight months old. I do post new cleaning motivation videos every single Tuesday here on my channel. I love to share the real-life moments, the real-life messes, and just have a place where everyone can come and feel welcome and inspired and motivated to tackle your own day. So if you do enjoy these types of videos, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe down below if you have not already. And if you are not following me over on Instagram yet, I would love for you guys to head over there as well and follow me on that platform as well. I cannot get over the fact that Quinn is going to be one year old in four short months. It honestly just blows my mind that she is already eight months old. I feel like it was yesterday when we were anticipating her arrival. And I think the fact that she is our third baby, it just makes it go that much faster. But I just cannot get over how quickly the time is flying by. And it is our last of our first birthday parties. And it's just really bittersweet wrapping up this chapter of our lives. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times as I was throwing some garbage out, I noticed how dirty my garbage can was looking. So I did want to give this a really quick clean before moving on into the living room. So I just grabbed my thieves cleaner, moved the garbage can out of the way so I could wipe down the cupboard behind it, the floor underneath it, and then of course, wipe down the garbage can itself. The bedding was ready to switch over from the washer to the dryer, but of course I had a load of clothes that I forgot about in the dryer from the night before. So I just took those out and ran those upstairs before transferring the bedding over. So this is just your friendly reminder to transfer your laundry over if you have not done that already, because I'm sure most of you have some laundry sitting in your washer or your dryer or in a laundry basket upstairs waiting to be folded. Cause you have The next thing I am wanting to do is clean off this fireplace mantle. This area is always such a clutter magnet because it is one of the only areas that my kids can't reach. So if I have something that I don't want them to touch or I just want to put it out of the way, I find myself always sticking it up here. So we're just going to be going through cleaning it up. As you can see, it really needs to be dusted. And then I actually have a new piece of decor that I am really excited to be putting up here. I'll be okay till the sun goes up, yeah. the 
sun go down over the same old town. I received this truck as a gift from my mother-in-law. She is the most creative and crafty person I know, but she purchased the truck and then she made each of these seasonal little displays to go in the box of the truck and then she made the magnets to go along with them so this is the one she did for spring it is so adorable and perfect for easter and then she made one for summer one for fall and one for christmas time i am so excited about this i just think this is the most amazing idea it is such a beautiful piece and i can even make more pieces to go with it if i want one with just greenery or if i want to try to make one for valentine's day and it is just such a thoughtful and creative idea and I am just really excited to display this on my fireplace you got broken into pieces by someone that you love you love Now we are going to be moving on to day number three of cleaning, getting started in the kids' rooms. If you guys have not yet seen, I think I've only shared their room in one other video recently, but Grayson and Rowan are currently sharing a room until we get the other room painted and ready to go for just Grayson. And then we are slowly making the transition for the girls to share, which... I'm not gonna lie, I am slightly dreading because Rowan and Grayson sharing a room has actually been going a lot better than I thought it would. They are doing really well together. They don't bicker and fight and talk all night like I thought they might. They go right to sleep and I think they actually enjoy having each other's company. So I'm a little worried about switching Grayson back on his own and then bringing Quinn in with Rowan because she is, of course, still waking during the night. So I'm not sure if we should hold off. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below, but we will see and I'm just kind of going with the flow as of now. Grayson's drawers have been overflowing recently. I don't know how he has accumulated so many pairs of pajamas especially, but I just want to go through and just tidy them up and take out anything that is no longer fitting him. Just let it come to ya. This gonna be a right I recommend this every single time I do any sort of drawer organizing in my videos, but if you guys are not yet using the KonMari folding method when it comes to your clothes, you need to start. It is the best. It is such a game changer and it is so space saving and it is really nice to be able to see everything that is in a drawer. Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name. Take me to a different place. Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights 
And now for the last areas that we are going to be cleaning today, which are my bedroom and the master bathroom. I also wanted to take this minute to recommend something to you guys. I'm sure most of you already do this, but if you do not yet listen to podcasts or audiobooks or music while you are cleaning, you definitely need to start. I cannot clean if I am not listening to a podcast. I find I just find any excuse to get sidetracked or do something else. I'm constantly looking at my phone and I just cannot stay on task but if I am listening to my podcast I find it just keeps my brain busy it keeps me focused and I can stay on task so much easier I'm more efficient and faster and everything else so I just thought I would mention that in case you are missing out on the podcast world or if you are struggling to find the motivation to clean I find having something to look forward to listening to really helps with the motivation and wanting to get stuff done so if you have any good podcast recommendations feel free to leave them down below as well you guys know i love my true crime i love morbid canadian true crime and crime junkie are probably my top three Last but not least, we are going to be ending this video in the master bathroom. I'm just going to be doing a quick speed clean in here. As you can see, there is laundry everywhere. The countertops are covered in products and I just want to get everything put away and disinfected. If you are still here and still watching, thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you know, and I would love if you would leave me your favorite emoji down in the comment section so I know that you made it all the way till this point in the video. Like to have some fun, we're just like ooh, ooh, ooh. We 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day to spend it with me. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and leave me a comment. And if you are not yet subscribed, I would love for you to do that as well. And I will see you all next Tuesday with a brand new video. Bye guys. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we are going to be getting started in the dining room. I did initially plan on just doing a quick tidy up in here and then moving on into the kitchen, but we do end up doing a complete deep clean in here. I moved everything out of this room. I cleaned under the rug, the chairs, the table, and I just wanted to give this room a quick deep clean and refresh before putting out all of my regular yearly spring decor. I am so excited to be getting some pops of greenery in here. It is so stark now that I have taken all of the Christmas stuff out. It is just too white and plain and boring for me right now. So I'm really excited to add the greenery. I find it just cheers the entire room up and I feel like I am needing that. I don't know if it is anyone else, but I am just in a little bit of a funk. I find January always hits hard once Christmas is over. I am just ready for summer and over the colder weather. So bring on the sunshine and the longer days of daylight and the springtime. I know time is going to fly and it'll be here before I know it, but I am so ready. For today's video, there is going to be tons of cleaning motivation. I am going to be doing some decorating, like I mentioned, a little bit of deep cleaning and just getting my to-do list tackled for the day. So it's going to be a good one and I hope you all enjoy it. When you were leaving, I need you even more than I did before. You had the last word when my kids love to play with Play-Doh and unfortunately they seem to drop little pieces off of the table and before I notice they get squished into the carpet by the kids or the dogs and over the last few months a lot has been smushed into the rug and I have not been able to get it out. That was the main reason I did decide to do a deeper clean of the dining room today is I'm just going to flip this rug over so it looks brand new and the Play-Doh side will be down and you won't be able to see it. And going forward, I am going to have to start laying down a towel or something underneath their chairs or maybe setting up a little activity area for the messier children activities like the Play-Doh and the slime. I now understand as a mom so many things my mom used to say and do, like she did not enjoy the Play-Doh and the slime. We were not allowed slime in our house and I can see why now as a mom, I do not like it and it always ends up everywhere. Simple as that Once I was finished vacuuming and mopping the floor, I did want to give it a couple of minutes to dry before laying the rug back down. So I'm just going to go through with some method cleaner and wipe everything down and start bringing out my decor. I do have this fake plant that I absolutely love and I'm just going to go through and be wiping this down as well because it has been sitting in storage so it was getting quite dusty. Yeah, I need
So as you can see, I am setting out my metal tier tray that I have had in this space for the last year or two, but I will be switching this one out shortly because I did order a new one off of Amazon and it ended up arriving this day. So I was super excited to get that set up. So I will be switching that out later on in the video. So this is the new tray that I did purchase off of Amazon and it just happened to be a perfect timing when I was filming this video that it showed up. I am super impressed with this tray. I really, really like it. I will try and link it down below if you are interested in it. I did choose to go with a black one, which I am still not sure how I feel about it. I just felt like with the hutch being white and the mirror behind it being white and everything just being a lot lighter in color, I thought black would be a really good color contrast to go with the handles on the hutch so you guys will have to let me know what you think down below i did actually even do a poll over on instagram so if you are not yet following me make sure you head over there and follow me on instagram at aliyah martins i always love to hear all of your opinions and advice on different things in real time and that is the easiest way to do it but i did post a poll and 83 percent of you said to keep it black so that is what i am going to do i really do like the black and it will be easy enough to spray paint later on down the road if I want to change it, but I really do think it is a good contrast here. I also purchased this beaded tassel decor piece off of Amazon. I'm not exactly sure what these are called, but I thought it would be the perfect piece to start my decorations for this tiered tray. I'm going to go out and look for some greenery and white accent pieces to help finish decorating this area, but I think once I get my hands on those, it will really take away from the tray being so black and kind of looking out of place and it will really just tie it all together. Our kitchen island counter is especially messy right now because if you guys did see last week's video, I talked about how we have started building the built-in hall tree in the laundry room closet. You can kind of see it off to the right side there. I am so excited to get it done. It is going to look so pretty. And we did also take the door right off of the laundry room from the kitchen and laundry room. It was just in the way and I was so tired of dealing with it but that is where a majority of this mess has collected from is a lot of tools and things we have been needing to build that. It has been minus 40 here the last couple of weeks when we were building it, so working outside in the garage was not an option, so we have been kind of making do in the house, but luckily it has finally started warming up a little bit here. Up, I'm not ready, let me have another day, don't wake up.
Now that I have wiped everything down, I am also going to be cleaning off my stovetop. I always use the Wyman's glass stovetop cleaner for this. It is just the best cleaner for your stovetop in my opinion, and I always like to scrub it in and get everything off with a brush. No other every day. It's funny how used to you get to looking at things around your own home and you might not even notice things anymore because I didn't even realize my Christmas wreath was still on my pantry door. And then I also had the kitchen Christmas mats out. I did notice the mats as I was cleaning the kitchen. So we will be moving those and switching those out in today's video. But the wreath we are not gonna be touching today because I didn't even notice it on the door. I am so used to looking at it, but I will be taking that down right when I am finished finished editing this video. Answers, clearly no manners, baby. I, I know you want it better. Putting on the pressure. This pressure's gonna get the very best of me. I give it little something doesn't come for free. Oh, I know you have questions, baby. Even if I try and try too hard, nothing's ever easy. Do say anything Quinn has officially made the transition to formula. She actually drinks a lactose-free formula because she does have a little bit of lactose intolerance issues. But as I was trying to dump the old container into the new container, it just ended up going all over the counter. I don't know exactly what happened, but naturally I am a clumsy person. Justin is always making fun of me for that, but I just thought it was funny as I was editing. I try and try too hard. So hard Tell me what to do, say anything So before putting the old mats out, I decided I should just vacuum and mop in the kitchen as well. Since I already did the dining room, we're just going to do room by room for today. And then after we are finished all of this, we are gonna be moving on into the living room. This area where my bar stools are tends to get very neglected when it comes to vacuuming and mopping, mostly just out of laziness. I don't like to move the chairs all out of the way, so I'll usually just vacuum around them. But as you can see here, that obviously does not do the job. This area was super dirty and really dusty. Love is like a roller coaster, but I'm trying to hold on. I don't want it to stop. Even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a war zone, I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. 
don't know how to cope with being so broken girl i can't forget about what we said i just want to love you a little bit more don't just walk away from me and close the door baby pull me closer now before it's over i just want to love you Now we are going to be moving on into the living room and of course the main thing I was wanting to get done in here was just getting everything cleaned up and picked up off of the floor. We're going to be vacuuming and I'm really excited to be getting out all of my blush pink throw pillows and blankets. Just wanna love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me and close the door. Baby, pull me closer now before it's over. I just wanna love you a little bit more. I'm sure you guys have noticed throughout my house that I am not a huge fan of the bright colors when it comes to decorating. I definitely like the more muted tones, so this blush pink is perfect and I feel like it adds exactly what this gray couch needs, just that little bit of color so it doesn't look so dull. I just want to love I also really don't know who I am trying to kid with these throw pillows because the second I am out of this room and my kids come downstairs, these things are on the floor pretty much 90% of the time. Now we are moving on to day number two of cleaning and we are going to be tackling the playroom today. Quinn was down for her nap and my older two kids were in their rooms for some quiet time. They do take about an hour each day for quiet time so that gives me enough time to tackle the playroom because I knew it would take me the entire hour to get this room completely cleaned. If you do have older kids that no longer nap, and by older, my kids are only three and four, I highly recommend implementing quiet time in your house if your children will cooperate. It did take a little bit of time for us to work out the kinks, but now it is such a nice time for everybody to just recharge and just get a little bit of time to themselves, especially myself. It gives me time to tackle a project or have a hot coffee or just have some time to myself my kids will either do some crafts or they will play lego in their rooms or rowan will play barbies we will allow them to play on their tablet sometimes as well just as a treat but as you guys know it is hard to get anything done in a day with young kids so quiet time is a great way to just make it work and i always look forward to that hour to myself each day
I did actually plan on cleaning quite a bit more this day, but our entire house fell under the weather and of course it ended up being the big germ that is going around right now. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say it on here. I know Instagram and YouTube both have a lot of rules when it comes to it, but it starts with a C and I know you guys know what I am talking about, but unfortunately our entire house came down with it. We never tested the kids, but of course when one person is positive and everyone else gets sick, you can kind of just assume but luckily it was a very mild case for our entire household everybody is doing much much better and i am very thankful for everyone to be healthy and doing better like i said we're actually all completely better now and i just i can't be more thankful i'm glad we had a very mild case i know not everyone is that lucky but i was definitely feeling under the weather by the end of this day so this was all that gets done and sometimes that's just how it is Please just look at me I'm a ticking time bomb that goes up easily You always know which buttons you should push, baby I'm a ticking time bomb that goes up easily But you're still here with me This door is on the one side of the chalkboard wall and I'm trying to show you in these clips, but it is super hard to tell, but it is caked with chalk dust. This just happens since it is right beside it and my kids are always using the chalkboard. So I'm just going through with a dry cloth and wiping it all down. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and spending some time with me. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and leave me a heart emoji down below letting me know that you made it all the way to the end. And I will see you guys all next Tuesday with a brand new video. I hope you all stay safe and stay healthy and I wish you all a wonderful week. Bye guys. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. First things first, I did want to quickly address my voice. I did unfortunately catch the kids cold. I really thought I was going to make it out without catching it because they are right at the end of it and getting better. But I woke up yesterday with a sore throat and you can definitely hear it in my voice. But I am feeling pretty good and I really wanted to get this video out. So we are just going to work with what we got and hopefully you guys don't notice it 
it too much throughout this video. The very first thing we are getting done today is putting away the groceries that I did purchase last night that I didn't get to putting away yet. I will actually be sharing that huge Costco haul at the end of today's video, so make sure you do stay tuned all the way until the end if you are interested in seeing that. But in the meantime, we are going to be tackling so many different areas around the house today, and this video is full of cleaning motivation. So I really hope you all enjoy it. As I was putting the dishwasher pods away, I decided to just go through and reorganize and clean up underneath my kitchen sink. So I'm just going to be removing everything, emptying containers of duplicate cleaners I have. I also want to hang up my little dustpan on the side with a command hook and just reorganize this space. If you have a space in your home that you are wanting to organize but don't know where to start, my biggest tip is definitely invest in some organization containers or bins. You don't have to spend a lot of money at all. You can get these from the dollar store. I believe I purchased all of these ones from my local dollar store and I think I spent five to seven dollars for all of them. And as you can see, I have one container for sponges, one for my cleaning brush, one for my cleaning cloths, and then the larger bin for all of my cleaning products there is not a ton of organization when it comes to all of the products that are in the bin but just being in a container and not loose in the cupboard makes it look so much more organized and so much more aesthetically pleasing In last week's video, I did make a new batch of my Thieves cleaner, so that is what I am going to be using to wipe down all of my surfaces today. I forgot how much I enjoyed this cleaner. I don't know why I stopped using it originally. I think I just ran out and never remade a new bottle, but I'm so glad I came back to it. Before emptying the dishwasher and getting started on the mountain of dirty dishes in my sink, we are just going to be rinsing off the raspberries that I had soaking. I always clean my fruit before putting it away in the fridge and I find vinegar and water is the best way to clean your fruit off. I will never go back. All I do is add probably about one third of vinegar, two thirds of water into a bowl. I dump all of my fruit in it and I just let it soak for probably about half an hour. And then of course, I just rinse the fruit off with fresh water before putting it away in the fridge. You don't have to worry about your fruit tasting or smelling like vinegar, but it cleans it so well. You guys should see how dirty and disgusting the water is, especially with grapes, I find. But definitely give this a try next time you need to wash your fruit because it is seriously the best way.
I am so happy to have January behind us. I personally find January the hardest month of the entire year. Once Christmas is over, I am usually ready for summer and I just find January to always be very long and cold and the days are short and I always just fall into a little bit of a funk when January rolls around. So it made me want to check on you guys and see how all of you are doing. I know this time of year can be tough for everybody, so I I would just love to hear from you down in the comments below. Reading comments and communicating with you is one of my favorite parts of doing YouTube. I love reading through my comments every single week and there are so many of you that I recognize week after week either by your screen name or your little picture and it is just so much fun. I love getting to know you all a little bit better so let me know down below how you are doing or if you want to leave me something that you are looking forward to this year or just tell me a little bit about yourself. I would love to read all of it. My kids absolutely love doing artwork and making different crafts and they are always so proud of it and want to display it. So I find myself hanging it all on my fridge just because I don't really know where else to put it, but I don't love having it on my fridge. So what I am thinking is buying maybe a magnet board or a cork board to hang underneath the calendar. I will show you guys a quick shot of where I am talking about. So I would hang it on the empty wall space here underneath the family calendar and and I think that would be the perfect solution so I can have a clear fridge but they can still display all of their artwork and I really do love having it out and looking at it so I think I'm gonna start looking for a magnet board that will fit this space tomorrow I don't want to fight no more cuz I don't really need no more no just want to make it stop maybe it's something in the water or maybe just hit the end of the road right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let it go and that's why i wish you the best and say goodbye you start to get dressed and then we cry cause we both know it's gonna hurt but not as much as this does we had a good run don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedy as I was cleaning the dining room, I decided that it was long overdue for Rowan to move into a regular chair. Plus, I really wanted to get rid of that high chair that I just moved because I do not like it at all. So I'm going to be taking Rowan's Ikea chair and making it back into a high chair. So that will be Quinn's new seat. Then I'm going to add a regular chair and moving Grayson's old booster seat into Rowan's spot for Rowan. And Grayson is officially upgraded to just a regular chair chair so lots of moving lots of transitioning and I honestly cannot believe how quickly my kids are all growing Before moving on into the living room, I quickly just wanted to clean the door tracks of my patio door in the dining room. As you can see, there is a lot of buildup of dirt in here. I like to use a sponge for this. I find it can just squish into all of the little cracks and pick up all of the dirt and grime out of here. I wish you the best and say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know
Now we're just going to go through and do a quick pickup in the living room, fix all of the throw pillows, even though we all know that is the biggest waste of time when you have little kids because these are going to be on the floor in the next five minutes. But I just want it to look pretty and put together for even that short amount of time. And then I am going to quickly vacuum the rug in here as well because I cannot even remember the last time that I did that. In this clip, you can see that Justin is starting to get dinner ready for us. He is such a good cook. I have mentioned that on my channel before, and he probably does more cooking than I do on a weekly basis, but since he is going to be occupying the kitchen, I decided to head upstairs and get started cleaning up here, and the very first thing I was wanting to get done was cleaning this area of my stair banisters because I can't reach this with the vacuum, as you saw in that clip how dusty it was, so I'm just going through with a microfiber cloth and collecting all of the dust and polishing it up with some pledge. The very last room that we are going to be cleaning today before I share with you guys our huge Costco haul is going to be the playroom. Now that Quinn is officially crawling and on the move, I like to keep this room clean. I try and tackle it every single day because of course with her crawling around, she can find every little piece that is left on the floor. So I really need to make sure everything is put away and there is nothing unsafe on the floor that she can't have. Watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars Battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we had Yeah, I know that we're not perfect But I need this night This little corner of the playroom is Quinn's space, but as you guys know, she does not like to stay in this corner. She wants to play with everything that is not hers and that she's not allowed to have. So it's been rough. I 
didn't obviously have this issue with Grayson because he was the first baby, so it was just baby things. And then with Rowan, Grayson and Rowan were so close in age that we didn't have any of the older toys and the little pieces because Grayson was practically still a baby himself, so it was still just baby toys. So this has been a learning curve for us. We have so many little pieces with Lego and Barbie shoes and Polly Pockets and pretty much everything that the kids like to play with now, Quinn can't have. So it's definitely been a little bit harder to separate it all, but the bigger kids know what she can and can't have and they do a really good job keeping their toys on the play side and we do our best to keep Quinn and all of her toys on her side. Sorry that the lighting in these next two clips isn't the best. It was so sunny. It was just that time of evening. I think it was around 5 o'clock because it is finally starting to get darker a little bit later in the day, which is amazing. But I needed to get these windows cleaned and I wanted to include it. Sorry if the lighting is a little bit off. It's already getting dark outside. It is, I think, 6 o'clock, so I guess it's a little bit later than it used to be when it got dark, but I wanted to share everything that we just got from Costco. We just got home, and I think this is the biggest haul I have done in a very long time. So first, we got some broccoli. We got mushrooms, raspberries, and the baby corn. I love this fried up with just butter. It is so good. We got a bag of potatoes, some diaper genies. My whole family loves these dried mangoes and it's a healthier snack, so we got some of those. We grabbed a pack of toothbrushes just because everyone's been sick, so switching toothbrushes out. We got a box of our coffee pods and then I got a pack of gum, trident gum. We got a box of these burgers. These are really, really good. We got some shrimp. We're actually staying in for Valentine's Day, so Justin's gonna be making steak and shrimp. He is a very good cook, so I'm really excited for that. We got some salmon, a pack of bacon, two packs of these, I think these are pre-cooked and you just can heat them up on the barbecue. They're really good with just some barbecue sauce and it's an easy supper. I got a pack of pizza shells just to make easy homemade pizza. I got two things of canola oil because we do do a lot of deep frying so we're always running out of this i bought a printer finally believe it or not i haven't owned a printer so we have a printer now and i need it for all of my business stuff 
I got some cornstarch and then we got a bunch of meat to get us through the month. I got two of the blade pot roast. I got chicken thighs and then I think we also got chicken wings underneath. We got some turkey bacon, some salami for sandwiches, some ground beef, and then I think these are pork shoulders. Justin makes sweet and sour pork and a lot of other yummy stuff with this. We got this pack of pasta. This is the best dried pasta out there. Some bread, some applesauce, um, a big case of eggs. We got the finish power wash just for our dishwasher. I got a ham to cook for another easy dinner. Some Miracle Whip, some Parmesan cheese. These are really good. These are also pre-cooked little chickens, but we heat these up and put them on sandwiches and they're really, really good. I got some baby Tylenol, some string cheese. That is Rowan's absolute favorite snack. I got some peppercorns for our grinder, some pickles, some omega-3. These are for the dogs. I take these sometimes too, but they're mostly for our dogs. I got a three pack of shampoo and body wash for the kids. I got a pack of ketchup, some formula for Quinn, a double pack of whipped cream for fruit and hot chocolate, some cheese slices. I got a big, huge thing of construction paper, so we will never run out again. Hopefully my kids love doing crafts and painting and drawing and all of that good stuff, so that should last us a while. A can of mushroom soup and a sleeper for Quinn. And can you guys believe she's already getting into 12 month stuff? Because I cannot, I can't believe that. That's just horrifying to me. Oh, and then we also got paper towel or paper towel and toilet paper. So yeah, that is everything that we bought today at Costco and you guys are going to be horrified at how much we spend. I feel like, like, of course this is a ton of stuff and we did get the printer. Oh, I don't know why. I have it turned to the French side, but this is the English side. I don't know if you guys know that, but in Canada, everything is English on one side and then French on the other or vice versa. So I don't know if that's everywhere or not, but it's like that here, but everything here was $980. I think we were $19 off of $1,000, which is awful. But the printer I think was 190, but the rest was groceries and like paper towel and stuff. So that does add up, but yeah, I feel like everything's going up and groceries, especially I really have noticed it. So that is going to be it for today's video. I am now going to spend the next half an hour putting all of these groceries away and then I just want to get in my pajamas, bake some cookies and have a quiet night at home, watch a movie and go to bed. I am so exhausted. I feel like I look exhausted and I feel even more exhausted than that. So it's been a rough week with everyone being sick, but luckily everyone is on the mend. Could be way worse and everything's great over here but i'm just really tired so i'm gonna get this put away but i really hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and i will see you all next tuesday with a brand new video bye guys hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new in today's video i am going to be sharing tons of cleaning motivation i have a very long list of things i was hoping to get done today and i am excited to bring you all along with me we are going to be getting started in the living room today i just want to get everything picked up and cleaned and then we're going to start on taking all of the cushions off of the couch because i was really needing to clean underneath those i cannot remember the last time i did that I'm also going to be sharing tons of the real life daily messes in today's video and at the end I'm going to be making some little valentines with the kids. They always love to be included and that kind of stuff and they were very excited to star at the end of today's video. So I hope you all enjoy that and let's jump right into it. And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh I love it when the love comes around And then I remember
All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady cause I'm happy I'm I always get asked so many questions about my couch. It is probably the number one question I get asked on my channel. And I did purchase it from Ashley Furniture probably about three years ago. And I want to say the model name is the Enola. I might be wrong about that. But if you go online or go in store, Ashley Furniture has some of the most beautiful sectional couches. Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady cause I'm happy I did actually have plans to completely move the couch and clean underneath it as well, but Quinn was just waking up from her nap and I did not want to take on such a big project while I had all three kids running around. I didn't want to worry about any little fingers getting stuck underneath or finding anything under there that they couldn't have. So I'm just going to save that for when Justin's home and I will probably include it in next week's video. But I figured it's not on me, yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver your hands on myself I keep pulling the trigger, alright This very thing for people like them now that we are finished cleaning in the living room, we are going to be moving on into the kitchen. I was wanting to do a really good clean in here. I'm going to be cleaning off all of the countertops, scrubbing the stovetop, doing all of the dishes, and cleaning up the dining room. My mom just bought me this adorable little lantern to add to my tiered tray and she also made us this cute little gnome Valentine's Day card so I added that to the tray as well. If you guys have noticed I am the world's slowest decorator, I am the most indecisive person and it does take me a long time to get projects and decorations done around my home. I am definitely the first to admit that, but it is hard to get out and work around three little kids. My kids are four, three, and eight months old, so I am very busy in the thick of motherhood right now, and I know you guys know that, and I don't have to explain myself, but I am slowly getting things done, and I'm really happy with how everything is turning out. This is definitely my new favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. It is the Raspberry Mimosa. It was in last year's summer collection, I believe, but hopefully they bring it back this year. And if they do, make sure you give it a try. I'm hoping I can grab a couple more this year so I can be stocked up for the summer.
I definitely have the itch to start my spring cleaning already. I don't know if this is too early. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments, but I am really wanting to get in there and get some deep cleaning done in my living room and my bathrooms and my kitchen especially. So I am going to be getting started on all of that very soon, especially since I was so pregnant last spring. I was eight months pregnant. I didn't really get to get any of my spring cleaning done. So that makes me even that much more excited to get it all tackled this year. But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs. I'm tired of this. And I want to tell you straight just like it is. You're watching me like you want me. But you're still holding back. Still holding back. Honestly, you're annoying me with the way that you keep playing. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. Now that all of the clean dishes are put away, we are moving on to the pile of dirty dishes that are in the sink. And someone made me laugh the other day in my comment section because they said they are always so impressed that I can always get these mountains of dirty dishes to fit into my dishwasher. And this is just something I take very seriously. As you guys know, I do not like to hand wash anything. The only things I will hand wash is stuff that doesn't physically fit into the dishwasher. So. I play the ultimate game of Tetris and I try to fit every single dish into the dishwasher or I will honestly just usually leave it for the next load. Show me your love like it is, like it is. And open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. And while we are on the topic of comments I get, and honestly, I wasn't even going to address this, but I feel like I should. I get so many comments and concerns in my comments about why my husband expects me to do all of the housework and he's never helping and people never see him doing anything in the videos. And really the reason for that is this cleaning channel is my job and I treat it as a job. So I am the one who does the cleaning in the videos. I film it, I edit it, I do everything. And he helps in so many other ways when I am filming. He is cooking or he is entertaining all three kids or he is cleaning other areas of the home that I am not currently in or he is out of the house working his 40 hour a week job. So he is such an amazing husband and father and he deserves to be stood up for. I get a little feisty when I read those comments and I am not joking when I say I probably get one comment like that on almost every video from somebody. I know it is not most of you and I'm sure none of you have ever thought anything about it, but I just wanted to address it and stand up for him. I can see it in your eyes. You don't want to talk anymore. I want to get so numb, want to get so numb while we enemies. If you guys are not yet following me over on Instagram, I would love for you to head over there and follow me on that platform as well. I post a lot more of my daily life and my personal life and just my life as a mom. So if that is something you are interested in and you want to follow me on more of a daily basis, definitely head over to Instagram and follow me at Aaliyah Martins.
you get too close I lose my way and I freeze I wish you knew what power you have over me But now it's so hard As I was mopping the floors, I noticed how dirty, disgusting, and dusty my staircases and banisters were So I want to go through and get these wiped down with a microfiber cloth Of course, it would have made a lot more sense doing this before I vacuumed and mopped my floors But like I said, I did only notice it So we're just gonna go with it and get this done now You glance your everlasting light Let your eyes raise a sharp cover through the crowd now we are going to be moving upstairs into the master bedroom. I was really wanting to get my bedding stripped and in the washing machine. That was a huge goal of mine for this day. This was probably about five o'clock in the evening. So it was a little bit later than I was hoping, but Justin was now home from work. So he was downstairs cooking dinner and hanging out with all three kids. So we're gonna get the bed completely stripped, get it going in the washing machine, and then heading back up here to get the master bedroom nice and clean. Justin has no patience when it comes to gift giving, so him and the kids have been surprising me all week with little Valentine's gifts, and this was one of the ones that they gave me. It is this rose in the glass with the little twinkle lights around it, and I love it so much and just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was so adorable. Someone like you, like you. This is slightly embarrassing, but this pile of clothes beside the rocking chair is all of the clothes that Quinn is slowly growing out of, and I just keep throwing it behind this chair instead of putting it away in a bin. So I'm just going to be putting it into this laundry basket so I can wash it and then donate it or sell it because no more babies, so there is no reason to hang on to it anymore.
as I was vacuuming, I could tell my vacuum was not working as well as it should be. And you can even see how dirty the filters are just in these clips. But I decided to clean these filters now because it was very much overdue. And I knew if I put it off anymore, my vacuum would not work at all. I don't think my filters have ever been as dirty and clogged as they were in this video. I even shake this filter out and I have never had visible dust be able to fall out of it. So this is way overdue and I am going to be making an alarm in my phone so I can do this on more of a bi-monthly basis. So the last thing we are going to be doing in today's video is a little bit different, but I thought it would be fun to include it. We needed to make Grayson's little Valentine's to bring to school this week. He was so excited to help. And of course we enlisted the help of Rowan as well. So we decided to go with these heart lollipops, some bubbles, and he picked the Mario Valentine's cards. So Grayson was in charge of putting the lollipops in the bag. Rowan was on bubble duty and I was going to be writing out all of the Valentine's cards with his name. If you watch Rowan as she is doing her job, I am not sure she understood her assignment. She was supposed to put one bubble in each bag, but as you can see, she is putting multiple bubbles in each bag. She was throwing three in some, five in others, some she didn't put any bubbles in, and I think she was just wanting the lollipop she was promised at the end of the process. So the more bubbles she put in each bag, the faster it would go, but you will see me fixing it here and taking all of the bubbles out she got it together and all went well after that. Yeah, I know that. And of course, the second the kids were done and got their reward of a lollipop, I got ditched and stuck with doing the rest of it myself, which of course is completely fine. I used to dream of these days before having kids. I always look forward to these kinds of moments. I'm sure a lot of you will completely understand that, but I am more than happy to get these done myself. Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright
that is going to be it for today's video. You guys will have to let me know down below in the comments if you enjoy seeing moments like these in my videos as well on top of the cleaning content because of course I do have more on my to-do list besides cleaning that I could add into my videos like making these valentines or maybe running errands or making grocery lists. If you guys want to see more of that kind of content as well, I could definitely start adding it at the end of my videos for those of you who do want to see it. So like I said, let me know down below, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you all next Tuesday with a new video. Bye guys. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. For today's video we are getting started upstairs in the playroom. I am going to be tackling a project that I have been putting off for way too long. Honestly I have been kind of dreading this but I am excited to finally get it done especially with Christmas right around the corner. We are going through all of my kids toys and all of their toy storage bins and decluttering, throwing out and getting rid of everything that they are no longer using or kneading. The very first thing we are going to be doing is just removing all of the toys off of the tops of these shelving units and wiping them down and cleaning them up. As you guys saw in that past clip, they have collected a ton of dust and dirt, so I just want to get these all cleaned up before we start dumping out all of the toy bins. Now that I have everything wiped down, I am going through and just putting all of the larger toys onto the shelving unit here. I did also grab a couple of bags. I am using one for some of the toys we are going to be donating and the other bag is going to be for garbage, toys that are broken, and little pieces of toys that go to things that we no longer have. I probably should have grabbed larger bags because I did end up going through quite a few of these. I did also decide to put all of our games in this closet here. The issue with having them on the toy bin is the kids can access them themselves, which is great in a way, but also I find we are starting to lose pieces to certain games because they don't keep track of them as well as they probably should. About things, and you're kind of simple, but like a pistol, you fire. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover, and sometimes Having all of the labels on the toy bins has been extremely helpful when it comes to organizing this room and keeping it that way, but unfortunately I have fallen off the bandwagon the last month or so and have not been doing a good job keeping it that way. So that is how I knew it was time to get in here and declutter and organize this space because we just have way too much stuff. I'm going through each bin and just dumping it out because I know these bins are very disorganized and mismatched from the labels on them, so I'm dumping it all out, going through all of the toys, throwing out a ton of it, anything that is garbage or pieces to toys we no longer have, or honestly, just those tiny little pieces that come with those annoying toys. I know you guys know what I mean, but the pieces you will never need. I'm just trashing all of it. My kids will never notice. I'm going through and donating what I know we no longer use, and then putting everything into the correct bin where it belongs. If you are a returning viewer, hello and thank you so much for coming back for another video. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Aaliyah. I am a wife and a mom of three. I have a four-year-old son named Grayson, a three-year-old daughter named Rowan, and another daughter who is six months old and her name is Quinn. I am currently in the thick of motherhood. Things are crazy and chaotic more often than they are not. I feel like my house is always just a whirlwind of a mess and I love to show the real life messes 
and the mom life motivation and I just want my channel to be a place where you can come and feel inspired and motivated and someone relatable to help tackle your own to-do list. So I hope you guys enjoy my videos and if you have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to join the family and hit that red subscribe button down below. I feel like we are kind of in an awkward stage when it comes to all of the toys that we have because my younger kids have outgrown all of the baby toys but I want to hang on to them and not get rid of them just yet because of course Quinn is going to start growing into them and then when it comes to the older toddler and young kid toys Grayson's into the boy stuff cars superheroes Hot Wheels and then of course Rowan's into more of the Barbie dolls and the play food dress up the little people toys so we kind of have a bunch of everything it will be nice as Quinn starts getting a little bit older and starts outgrowing some of the baby stuff because then we can slowly start getting it decluttered and donated and out of our house. It is going to free up so much space. It is going to be very bittersweet ending the baby stages here in our home, but it is exciting to start a new chapter. I'm not the kind of person who is sentimental. This thing is making me sound. This decluttering process was a challenge in itself just for the sheer fact that my kids were playing on the other side of the playroom. You will see Rowan in and out through these next couple of clips just making sure I'm not throwing out or getting rid of any of her favorite toys. that all of the toys have found their homes and are put back where they belong I'm just going to be putting all of the bins back into the shelving unit this is the Calyx system from Ikea I have gotten quite a few questions about it and that is the system we used we got two of the larger units and those are the ones that are upright and then the smaller shelf that is four across that is just one of the smaller units but still the Calyx unit Once we move Grayson into his new room, he will actually be getting the Lego table in his room. We are going to be moving it out of the playroom. The main reason is because Quinn is starting to get on the move and Lego is so small and it's just one of those things that is hard to keep track of. I don't want to even worry about having the Lego all over the carpet and her being able to put it in her mouth. And of course, he will love having the Lego table in there and it will clear up a nice play space in here.
absolutely love this chalkboard wall. It was one of our best decisions when we did our playroom makeover. The only downside though is you do get the collection of all of the chalk dust on your baseboards and your vents and your carpet. So you really do have to stay on top of it or it ends up everywhere. Now that we are finished upstairs in the playroom with the decluttering project, which by the way feels so amazing to have that done, like I mentioned at the beginning, it has been something I have been putting off for way too long and I am so happy to just have it completed, but we are now going to be moving on downstairs into the dining room and the kitchen. And as per usual with Rowan's spot at the table, there are always a ton of crumbs and food and stickers pushed underneath the gap between the table and the glass top. So I am just using a butter knife and a wipe to try and get most of that out. I was feeling very accomplished after tackling the playroom upstairs and I wanted to continue on with my decluttering projects so I decided to tackle the two drawers down here in my dining room. These drawers always drive me crazy when I open them because they are so messy and have so much stuff in them so I'm just going to be taking everything out, cleaning out the drawers and adding some organizers. So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all In this drawer here, I decided to add two little plastic organizers that I had laying around the house. I'm going to be putting my Scentsy bars in one of them. This is just an easy place to keep them since this is where I keep my wax warmer. And in the other bin, I'm going to be putting all of the bibs since Quinn is starting to eat her food. This is an easy place to reach for those. My kids love to draw and color and they are constantly asking for me to get the stuff out so I thought this drawer would be a great place just to keep their markers and papers. It's somewhere they can reach themselves but I can also keep an eye on them. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all you 
I went to the grocery store earlier this morning and I bought a ton of my supplies for all of my Christmas baking I am wanting to do. That is what I am putting away here. I got a ton of bags of popcorn twists because I am wanting to do caramel popcorn twists instead of just plain popcorn this year. I like how the twists don't have the kernels so I'm excited to make those and I'm making a bunch for gifts which is why I have so many bags of it. I also make homemade sugar cookies and the chewy ginger cookies. I don't like ginger snaps. I like them to be soft and chewy. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments what are your favorite cookies or recipes to make around the holidays because those are definitely mine. This is your friendly reminder to clean out your little toaster trays. This is something I do not do as often as I probably should. And usually the only reason I ever remember is when I notice the overflow of crumbs are starting to collect on my countertop and there is nothing worse than crumbs on your counters and your floors. think we are at a point where we are going to have to start looking for a new dishwasher. I have been having problems with this one for months as you guys probably know if you have watched some of my videos but I think this one has had it. It is going to be 10 years old next year which I think is a pretty long life for an appliance these days. I am looking into the Bosch ones. I really like the Bosch brand for appliances. We have had really good luck with them but let me know down below if you have any other good recommendations for dishwashers but but I am excited to find a dishwasher that has that third little rack at the top where you can put little lids and bigger utensils.
I actually ended up going to Bath and Body Works earlier today and I thought I would share a haul with you guys. I have not done a Bath and Body Works haul in years so I thought it'd be fun and I got some good stuff so I'm just gonna take it all out of the bags and then I will show you guys. Okay, so of course the most exciting thing I got were the candles, but I did have to stock up on some soaps and the Christmas scents are always my favorite for everything that Bath & Body Works carries. So I always stock up on everything at this time of year. So I got three of the Vanilla Bean Noel hand soaps. This one is Mary Cookie. I got one of the iced cinnamon rolls. I've never tried that one, but it smelled really good in store. Two of the twisted peppermint, and I think this is a new scent this year. It's the peppermint sugar cookie, and it smells amazing. I got that scent in everything I think I got here except the body wash, but that one is really, really good. And then for candles, I got a spiced apple toddy. I have mentioned this one before. I get a new one of these every single year. And this is a really good Christmas scent. And then this one, I think is a new one. Oh, if I can get it out. This one is a new one this year. I mostly got it for the packaging. I thought it was adorable. It's called Cookies with Santa. But of course, it smells really good or I wouldn't have purchased it. But the packaging is what initially caught my eye. And then I got two of the peppermint sugar cookie candles. Like I said, this scent is so good. It, of course, smells like peppermint, but it definitely has that sweet cookie scent. And it just is a really good one. So I'm excited to burn that one. Like I said, I just got two of those. And then for body washes, I use this for body wash and for bubble bath. I got, I ended up actually getting three of each, but two of them are already upstairs, but the Twisted Peppermint and the Vanilla Bean Noel. And then I got just a couple hand sanitizers. I keep these everywhere, the car, the diaper bag. I got two of the Peppermint Sugar Cookie, two Vanilla Bean Noels, and two Twisted Peppermint, but I already threw one in my car, so. That is everything I got. Like I said, I always stock up at the holidays and I tend to go for the sweet scents. So if you like the sweeter bakery scents or the peppermint scents, you will probably like everything. But if I had to recommend one thing, it would definitely be getting the peppermint sugar cookie, especially in the candle. To finish off the day, we are just back upstairs vacuuming the other half of the playroom that I did not have a chance to earlier on in the afternoon, but that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment and I will see you all next Tuesday with a brand new video. Bye guys. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you are here. I hope you all had the most wonderful Christmas and New Year. For today's video, we are going to be tackling the chaos that was Christmas. As you can see, my house is an absolute disaster. I don't think it has ever been this bad. We are going to be starting off in the kitchen today. I felt like that was the room that needed it the most. I decided to grab three bins, one for each of the kids, one for Gray, one for Rowan, and one for Quinn, so I could start sorting the stuff on the island by kid because most of the stuff was the toys and things that they received for the holidays. Then they can just take the bins up to their rooms and put it away themselves, except for Quinn, of course. I will be doing hers for her. I was so excited to finally be filming this video because as you can imagine this mess has been driving me nuts. I do not function well when my house is full of clutter so I'm really excited to get it tackled today. Today's video is going to be full of cleaning motivation for you guys. Lots of cleaning, decluttering, and just finding a home for all of the new stuff so I really hope you all enjoy it and let's just get right into it. It's like talking to a wall when you don't look at me. I want to speak my mind and tell you how I feel But it's like talking to a wall when you don't look at me Please just look at me I 
The project of cleaning off this island and putting everything away into its new home ended up taking me almost two hours, which is so crazy, but I was trying to make sure I was putting everything where I wanted it to go so I wasn't just moving the mess around and it was going to be a problem later. Once I got all of the stuff taken off of the island, I was left with all of the clothes that we did receive for gifts and we received a ton of it, especially the kids. So I'm just going to go through here and take all of the tags off of everything that was for the kids so I can get that in the wash and put away later. While we are taking all of the tags off of these clothes, I thought this would be a great time to let you guys know about a company that I recently discovered and have been loving. Pinecone is a company that asks and pays people to take surveys to help give feedback on different products and brands. This is such a quick and easy way to earn some extra cash and gift cards for yourself. If you are someone like me and you spend a ton of time randomly scrolling through your phone during nap time or in the evening when you have a little bit of downtime, why not make yourself some money while doing it? Pinecone is super easy to use and for each survey that you take, you are rewarded with a guaranteed payout amount. I have mentioned quite a few times on my channel recently that I feel like the cost of pretty much everything has been going up from groceries to clothing, so why not use Pinecone as a tool to help yourself save and make some extra money? Another thing I love about Pinecone is that they will reach out to you when they have an opportunity available, so you don't don't have to worry about wasting your time looking for or missing a survey. Pinecone is very easy to sign up for, just make sure you do use my exclusive invite link that I have down below in the description box and you can start earning some extra cash too. I know you guys are really going to enjoy using this app so make sure you don't forget to sign up and give it a try for yourself with my link down below and thank you so much to Pinecone for sponsoring today's video. Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack, words that we can't take back. We are the reason opposites attract. Once you slam the door on the second floor, I regret it all. When I think. Now that I finally have all of the tags off all of the clothes, I am gonna be throwing them in the washing machine to get them nice and clean before putting them away in my kids' rooms. I am somebody who likes to wash everything when we get it, whether it be clothes or dishes or containers. I don't even really like to think about all of the hands or who knows what else touches the stuff before I get it. So this is just what I have always done and I like to wash it all before putting it away in my home. On the second floor and I feel okay We just made it through And I love the way I feel for you mm, baby You make me lose my mind Like all the time It still feels right mm, Stuck in a net Now 
now that we are finally able to see the island, I am going to go through and finish up cleaning the rest of the kitchen, getting the rest of the stuff put away, wiping down all of the countertops, cleaning the dining room, and getting the dishes done before moving on into the mess that is my living room. If you guys remember from quite a while ago, oh man, probably close to a year ago with how quickly the time goes, we were going to tear out the closet in our laundry room at the entrance of our garage and build a built-in hall tree in there. Well, if you remember, I did start by taking everything out of that closet and we started building it and then just kind of left it because life got hectic and busy and things just took priority. But I am happy to say we finally got almost all of it done this Christmas break and I am so excited to share it with you guys. I did share a little sneak peek over on Instagram so if you are not yet following me over there make sure you head over there and follow me for any updates. But I will also be sharing a sneak peek near the end of today's video just to kind of show you what we have going on in there. I am so excited about it and I cannot wait to get in there and decorate the space and I'm hoping I will be able to do that in next week's video but if not hopefully the week after Love is like a roller coaster but i'm trying to hold on i don't want it to stop even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a war zone i still care about us how do you move on when everything goes wrong before I get any further into today's video, I would love to hear what you guys are thinking about the voiceover quality. I recently got a new mic and this is my very first video using it and I am not sure how I feel about how it sounds, but I am my own worst critic. So I of course want to get the opinions of you guys. So please let me know down below. Do they sound just as good as my other videos? Do they not sound quite as good? Please let me know so I can make adjustments for any future videos i know that it's difficult dealing with emotions but i want you to know that you'll always be on my mind even in the hard times i care about you how do you move on when everything goes wrong i'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head don't know how to cope Just wanna love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me. Now that we have put all of the clean dishes away, we're just gonna go ahead and reload the dishwasher with all of the dirty dishes that are currently piled in the sink. the dishwasher ended up being very full after loading all of the dirty dishes from the sink unfortunately i did have a couple more things i was hoping to fit in there but they weren't gonna fit so that's okay we're just gonna go ahead and hand wash them it is just all of the new stuff that i received for christmas my mom ended up making me a kitchen basket for a christmas gift which now as an adult are my absolute favorite gifts to receive because it's the stuff i need and want but i don't really want to spend my money on like new frying pans and new spatulas so I was super excited to get these and I'm just going to give them a quick rinse with some Dawn power wash and a cloth and dry them and put them away. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose, I'm tired of waiting, gonna make that move, all the neon signs, now they shout to me and you to write our story, wanna 
Now we are going to be moving into the second messiest room in the house, which is the living room. This was definitely a very close second to the kitchen. As you can see, there are toys and garbage and cardboard and clothes and everything else that we got for Christmas still left all over the couch and floor in here. So we're going to go through and quickly just get this all put away and find a home for everything. After we're done that, we are also going to be taking down all of the Christmas decor, which is always so bittersweet, but I'm really excited to have a fresh start in here. I do like to try and recycle everything that we can so I'm just going through and collecting all of the cardboard and plastic to put that in the recycling bag we already have started before grabbing all of the toys and then separating that from the garbage. When it comes to decorating, I always decorate for fall, Halloween, and Christmas, but when it comes to the months of January through August, I feel like my decor stays pretty much the same. I do a lot of greenery with my plants, and I like to add the blush pink accents. It is a good transitional period from Christmas to spring with those colors, and then when it comes to Easter and summer, I will add little pops here and there to just bring the seasons and the holidays into my home, but for now, I'm going to be slowly transitioning back to my regular house decor. I did not want to bore you guys with taking down all of my Christmas decor, so I did a fun little transition with just a snap of my finger, and if only it was that easy in real life to take your decorations down, but now I have a nice clean slate to bring out all of my regular decor, and I am so ready for it. Now we are moving on to day number two of cleaning and as you can see there is no more furniture in here. We sold it very quickly actually. I posted it, sold it, and it was gone within the day so it was a really fast turnaround. I did not think we were going to sell the furniture that quickly. I was not prepared either so all of Roan's clothes that were in her dresser are now shoved just into the closet shelves and we're going to have to go on the hunt for a new dresser for the girls room soon. I'm just going through the room now to pick up everything and get the floor cleaned up, get the baseboards wiped down, and just get it ready for its new coat of paint. For you to change into someone, someone who could love me, but you play me like there's no tomorrow, you should know that. 
Now that everything is picked up off of the floor, I'm just going through the entire room and wiping down all of the baseboards with the Wood for Good Cleaner. The baseboards were not super dirty except for, as you can see here, the two areas where the crib and dresser were. This ended up being day three of cleaning. I did not expect to have to clean three days, but day number two did not end up being very productive between the kids and everything else going on. So for day number three, we are going to be tackling the last area I was really wanting to get done, which is the master bedroom. As you can see, it was needing some attention. There is laundry everywhere. I haven't dusted or vacuumed in probably over a week and a half. So I was excited to get this area tackled and get it taken care of. As you guys can see, my laundry room is an absolute disaster. We are finally doing the built-in hall tree. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. Of course, it's not done yet, but it is looking so good. I am just so excited to get the space done. We bought some black hooks. We're going to put in each of those areas. We're going to get some bins. I'm gonna decorate it and it's going to be beautiful. We did the board and batten. I did think we were gonna do shiplap, but I am so glad we did this. It looks so pretty and simple. It does make the baseboards and casings around my doors look a lot more dingy, so I think I'm gonna end up having to go through and paint all of those a matching white. But this is what it looks like so far, and I'm so happy. But this is the mess that we are left with currently. Justin is pretty much working, sorry this is so loud, but Justin is pretty much working out of the laundry room as it's been minus 30, minus 40 here. He can't do it in the garage, so this has been his workstation and it's a disaster. So this is going to probably be in next week's video once we are finished all of the work in here. And yeah, stay tuned for all of that. I am so excited to get the hall tree finished. It is going to look so good and I am thinking I am going to do a little laundry room revamp and makeover when I am finished that and kind of reveal the entire space all together. I might do a dedicated video or I might just include it in a future cleaning video and then I am so excited for all of the projects we have lined up for afterwards. The first one being the kids rooms. I cannot wait to get the kids rooms painted and done. I'm excited for Quinn to get out of our room and go into her own room as much as I love having her in there I am ready to have our space back and for her to get on a better schedule in her own crib so it's going to be great and I am so excited for all of the changes and projects we have planned for this year
that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this three-day clean with me. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up down below and leave me a comment letting me know what you are most excited for or looking forward to in the year of 2020. If you are not yet subscribed, I would love if you would hit that red subscribe button down below before you leave and I will see you all next Tuesday with a brand new video. Bye guys. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel for another video. I am so excited to get started today because we are going to be prepping my main floor living areas for Christmas decorating. I do plan on decorating for Christmas next weekend and I want to have a nice and clean slate to do that in. I am so excited to get all of my decor up and just get this place Christmas ready because Christmas is my absolute favorite time of year. It just makes me so happy and there is just nothing better in my my opinion than having a lit Christmas tree at the end of a long day. As you can see, we are going to be starting off in the living room. I really want to do a good deep clean in here. We are going to be moving the couch, the rug, the toy box. As you can see, I did also take this little side table out of here. I am going to be moving the toy box over to this wall because the Christmas tree will go in the corner where the toy box currently is, but I hope you guys enjoy today's video. There is tons of cleaning, deep cleaning, and I do also include a huge Costco grocery haul near the end of today's video, so if that is something you're interested in, make sure you stay tuned all the way till the end. Right now I'm standing in the corner. I see you from across I never noticed how many nicks and scuffs were on this wall until I moved the table so I'm just quickly going through with a magic eraser to get all of those off the wall oh, Everybody singing oh, oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move the biggest task I had on my list today was moving this couch and cleaning underneath and behind it. When I've been walking by, I can see all of the stuff that has fallen behind it in between the wall and the couch and it's been driving me nuts. So I'm really excited to get this done. As you can see, there is pretty much everything under here from clothes, toys, books, food. It was a mess and I did throw most of this stuff out. I did keep, of course, some of the bigger toys that I knew the kids would miss, but most of it was just junk and I had no problem just chucking it my kids will never notice it missing I'm also going to be vacuuming and mopping under here I'm going to be moving the rug and we're also going to be doing a deep clean of the area rug in here with my carpet cleaner This area of my stairs gets super dirty because when I'm vacuuming, I can't access the fur on the other side of the railing, so it kind of just collects, and I thought this would be a really good time to clean it up since I had easy access with the couch out of the way. While we are vacuuming this carpet, I did want to quickly say hello and welcome if you are new here. I have gained quite a few new subscribers within this last month or so and I am so happy to have you all here. Thank you so much if you are new here or if you have been here from the beginning or anywhere in between. I am so thankful for all of you and I am just really proud of the community that we have built here. My goal for the end of 2021 was 30,000 subscribers and it looks like we are probably going going to hit that before the end of the year and I am really excited about it and I am just thankful to all of you that take the time out of your day to hang out with me and watch my videos and support my channel. So thank you guys again and I am so excited to hit this new milestone. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover And sometimes you don't wanna come back Cause you'd rather stay out with another Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously Now I'm
Now that the carpet is vacuumed and the floor underneath is mopped, we are going to be finishing off by going over the carpet with my carpet cleaner. This is a Hoover. I am not sure which model it is. I have had it for a few years and I definitely don't do this as often as I probably should, especially since I do have two large dogs and three kids. I should probably do this on a more bi-monthly basis, but we're getting it done today. And for the cleaning solution that I am using in the machine, I am using a Bissell solution. I believe it's called the Pet Pro or the Pro Pet, one or the other, but it smells really good and it's great if you have pets. Once I was finished cleaning the entire area rug, I did wait probably about an hour or so before moving the couches back onto the rug. I will admit it was still quite damp when I moved them back on and I probably should have waited a little bit longer, but I am somebody who if I am cleaning and I sit down and stop, it is so hard for me to get back up and moving. So I didn't want to wait any longer than an hour. I knew I had a huge list of things I was wanting to accomplish this this day so I wanted to get back at it get this couch back together so I could move on to the rest of the stuff I needed to get done I have mentioned this in previous videos, but it is still definitely the number one question I get asked in my videos, and that is, where is my couch from? We purchased it from Ashley Furniture. Unfortunately, I cannot remember the name of the actual sectional, but we did get it three years ago, so I'm sure they still have it or something very similar. I absolutely love it, and it is probably my favorite piece of furniture in my entire house. After I moved the toy box, there was a ton of mess to clean up off of the floor and the baseboards. I also have this gap in between the floor and the baseboards that I don't know if it is supposed to be there, but unfortunately I do have it and I ended up having to get a butter knife to kind of pry the crumbs out from in between the two. Where I have moved the toy box and where the table originally was, I would like to replace that wood table just because I feel like it doesn't really go with the area and I thought I wanted a white or a cream table or maybe some sort of hutch, but now I think I want to go with a black one. I think it would tie in so nicely with the rock work on the fireplace and just be the perfect contrast for the living room. My living room is officially ready to be decorated for Christmas. It is a nice and clean slate and I am so excited to get it done this weekend. My decor style is very minimal if you guys have noticed and I am kind of loving having all of the empty spaces to start working on again. I personally feel like less is more when it comes to decor and I only like to put out pieces that I absolutely love. As I was wiping down the table, I did notice that my chairs were needing a wipe down as well. So we are going to be doing that since I was kind of in the deep cleaning mood from the living room. I decided to just carry it on over to the dining room and get it nice and clean in here as well. Yes. 
And of course, as per usual, I have stickers to pick up off of the floors. My kids are obsessed with stickers, but I am constantly finding them everywhere. I find them on the windows, on the floor, on their beds, everywhere. And it's driving me nuts and I'm about to ban them from the entire house. As I was vacuuming, I did not realize how dirty my glass patio door was and the windows that are here, but don't worry, we will come back later on in the video and take care of those and get them cleaned up. And now we are moving on into the kitchen. This is always my favorite room to get cleaned up. It is definitely the room in the home that makes the biggest difference with how clean your house feels. If your kitchen is clean and the rest of your house is messy, I feel like you can get away with it. But if your kitchen is messy and the rest of your house is clean, I just feel like it takes away from it. And your house does not feel completely clean until your kitchen is clean. I think it's just because it is such a central area of your home and you are always in it. Now that the cooler months are upon us, I always like to light a candle when I am cleaning in the kitchen and I am going for my number one favorite candle from Bath & Body Works, which is the Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. If you guys have not yet tried this one, you have to. It is, like I said, my number one favorite. I feel like this scent can go year round, which is how I burn it. There is never a time of the year that I am not burning this candle. I am almost finished all of my Christmas shopping, which feels really good. I always have a goal to have my Christmas shopping done before December. I don't think I have ever hit that goal, but this year might be the year. So let me know down below, have you guys started shopping? Have you finished your shopping? Or when do you usually like to try and have it all done? You are still here and still watching thank you so much i would love if you would leave me a green heart emoji down below in the comments just letting me know that you have made it to this point in the video i would also love if you guys would head over to instagram and follow me over there as well if you have not already i will have that linked down below as well but it is just aliyah martins
now for my favorite part of cleaning the kitchen, which is cleaning out and scrubbing the kitchen sink. We really don't sit or use these island chairs very often, so I find they collect a lot of dust and dog fur. So I'm just going through and pulling all of the chairs out so I can get a really good clean in here. I also noticed that the chair legs were getting really dirty, so we're going to be wiping those down as well. Okay, so I just got home from Costco and a ton of you guys have been requesting more grocery hauls. So that is exactly what I am going to do. So I will show you everything that I just picked up before I get it all put away. And sorry if you hear anything, my kids are just <laughs> eating lunch right now. But I will just start with the meat. I got chicken thighs. This is a flank steak. Justin asked for this. I'm not sure what his plan is. I got ground beef, pork tenderloin, and two blade pot roasts. We got some strawberries, some cheese buns. These are so good from Costco. Sour cream. This is my favorite nut mix. It is really, really good. I got dentist sticks just for the dogs. An extra virgin olive oil. We go through that. Justin makes his own garlic oil and this is what he uses. It's so good, but we go through it very quickly. I got two packs of these. I think these are pre-cooked, but you just chuck them on the barbecue for a couple minutes and add some barbecue sauce, and they are really, really good for a quick dinner. I got this for tonight. It's a chicken penne alfredo. I've never tried this. I'm hoping it's good. I will let you guys know, but we're going to try that tonight for supper. I get these mini individual pizzas for the kids for an easy lunch. I got these buffalo chickens. These are good in lunch wraps. They're pre-cooked, so you just heat them up. And those are really good in the, like I said, those are really good in um, wraps or sandwiches. I got some chicken pot stickers and orange chicken. This is just an easy frozen meal. This is Grayson's favorite dinner. So I always pick this up when I go to Costco. What is it? Orange chicken. Oh. You do. I got turkey bacon, yogurt. We got a pack of broccoli, some unsalted butter, a two pack of cream cheese, two packs of shredded cheese. This is just frozen chicken strips. I always get the two pack of the Starbucks cold brew coffee when I go to Costco because it is by far the cheapest there. A big box of waffles. I got the Denactive drinkable yogurts. The kids already broke into those. A case of pears. And then I just got some winter socks for me when we go sledding or are just outside in the winter. Justin needed some new dress socks, so I got him a pack of those. And I got a new sleeper for Quinn because at Costco they are $8.99 and you just can't beat that for a sleeper. So that is everything I got. 
couple pieces of clothing items, a lot of meat, which is always expensive. Oh, and I also got a box of coffee, but I don't know where that is. But I get the Tim Hortons coffee pods for the Keurig. But that is everything I got, and I spent $501 today. So I feel like groceries are still expensive. And this will probably last us about two weeks with a small produce run in the week for just some fresh fruit and veggies. But you are not the only one I call for fun. Late night you hear love gun. No, you won't see that I'm lying to be on my own. On my own. No, you don't hear. The last thing we are going to be doing today is coming back to these doors in my dining room and getting them wiped down. As you saw from the close-up shots, they were in pretty rough shape, so we're going to be cleaning the glass, wiping the tracks of the door, and also cleaning the metal around the door and the handle, just because when my dogs went outside, they nudged the door with their noses, and that is what most of this mess is, is my dog's nose art. Come on, come on. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you're looking forward to next week's video which is going to be my Christmas clean and decorating. I cannot wait to decorate. I can't wait to film it and I'm just excited to show you guys what I have going on for this year's decorations. It's also always fun to film something a little bit different so I think you guys are going to enjoy it and I will see you all next Tuesday with that one. Bye guys. I don't care